Hello, I am Arun from Support Host. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about how to install OpenSSL on Windows Server 2019. OpenSSL is a toolkit for SSL TLS protocol. We mainly use the OpenSSL toolkit for generating and managing SSL certificates. OpenSSL 3 is the latest major version of OpenSSL and in this video we are setting up this new version. Originally, the OpenSSL package is built for Linux environment by their official developers. But for Windows, we have to rely on third-party OpenSSL related binary distributions. So we use one of these OpenSSL derived products MSI package installer on our Windows Server 2019. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Alright, let's get started. The first section is install and setup OpenSSL toolkit. In this section, we install the OpenSSL toolkit and set it up to run. For that, okay, go back to the Windows server and open Windows PowerShell. From there, issue command like open, OpenSSL version minus A. This command is used to verify whether OpenSSL is installed on Windows server, which is normally a OpenSSL version check command. So right now we can see OpenSSL is not recognized as the name of CMD let, which means basically means that right now in this Windows server, the OpenVPN is not installed. So let's see how we can install. For that, first use this, use the curl command and download the OpenSSL Windows package from the website of the OpenSSL Windows package developers. So copy the command and paste the curl command in the Windows PowerShell. This curl command downloads OpenSSL Win Windows installer from the developers website. Hit enter. Let's wait for the download to be completed. Once the downloading of OpenSSL installer completed, we need to execute the installer. For that, we can either use this Windows PowerShell command or go to the downloaded folder and double click the downloaded exe file. So right now I am using this PowerShell command dot slash win 640 exe and hit enter. It will open the setup wizard and right now we can see the warning as Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 package is not installed in this server. This is the pre-requirement for the OpenSSL installation. So by clicking yes, we can download this Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 in the server and can be installed. Then only the OpenSSL commands will work properly. So confirm, confirm it by clicking yes and a browser will open and our Visual C++ installer will be downloaded. Click on the installer and the installation wizard will open. Confirm the license agreement and click install. Let's wait the installation of Visual C++ got completed in the server. Once it got completed, we will get setup successful message. Click close. After that, let's proceed with the OpenSSL installation wizard. Confirm the license agreement on OpenSSL installation wizard and click on next. Choose the installation directory. Here by default the installation directory will be C program files OpenSSL win64. But I am changing the installation folder as C OpenSSL win64. I am doing this for easily identifying the OpenSSL installation folder. And after that click next. Then leave the shortcut name as OpenSSL itself and click next. Here we will be asked to select the additional task you would like to set up to perform while installing the OpenSSL. So the default option is the Windows system di directory. That's fine with us. Leave the default option as it is and click next. Confirm the installation by clicking the install. Wait for one or two minutes. The OpenSSL installation will get completed automatically. Okay, once the OpenSSL installation got completed, in the final wizard, we can either donate an amount to the op OpenSSL package providers or just untick the option and click on finish. So this completes the OpenSSL installation. Now we need to add OpenSSL installation binary folder that is in our case it's C OpenSSL 64 bin directory to the Windows environment path by issuing below two PowerShell commands. Then only if you type OpenSSL commands in Windows PowerShell, the Windows will identify the OpenSSL binary and output the results. So let me issue the below two PowerShell commands. Okay, this completes adding 
adding the binary path of OpenSSL to the Windows environment path. After that, we also need to export the OpenSSL config file with variable name OpenSSL underscore conf for that issue below command in the PowerShell. By default, the OpenSSL config file location will be C OpenSSL 64 bin and the file name will be OpenSSL.cfg. Once we set the OpenSSL conf variable, we also need to add the system variable or OpenSSL underscore conf permanently. For that, open Windows run and type sysdm.cpl. From there, click on advanced tab and from the advanced tab, click on environment variables. From there, under system variables section, click on new. Here, under variable name, we have to give it as OpenSSL conf and the variable value will be the OpenSSL conf file location. That is C OpenSSL win64 bin and the file file name is openssl.cfg. Let me give the full path in the variable value and then click OK. After that click the OK button again then click OK. Okay. Now we, we have completed the OpenSSL setup in the Windows server. Now let's move to the next section. The next section is configure OpenSSL. In this section, we configure OpenSSL installed in the server to build SSL TLS certificates. Also, we build our SSL TLS certificates with specific key usage and extended key usage as per RFC 3280. So let's see how this config setup can be done in the OpenSSL. For that, now go back to the Windows server and as part of the SSL configuration setup, first go to the folder C OpenSSL Win64 bin folder. Before that, in the previous section, we have successfully installed OpenSSL version. Now at this point, if you open the command prompt and issue OpenSSL version minus A, it's a command used to check installed OpenSSL version, we get a successful result. And right now the installed version is OpenSSL 3. So this uh, states that OpenSSL is successfully installed in the server. Now let's see how we can configure the OpenSSL in the server. Then successfully generate OpenSSL certificates. For that, first go to the open SSL installed folder that is C OpenSSL bin and then un under that go to the bin folder. From there, first create a folder named demo CA. Now go to the demo CA folder and in that create another folder named sets and new sets. The sets and new sets folders are the default folders where the generated OpenSSL certificates will be available or will be stored. Now under demo CA folder itself create a file named serial. This is the file which keeps the serial number of generated SSL or TLS certificates. So let's create a file named serial. Make sure there is no txt extension with the file name serial. For that remove the .txt extension. After that open the serial file with any text editor. I am using notepad and in that give a value as 0 1. This is the initial serial number we inserted in the serial file. Let's save the file and close. After that create another file named index.txt. Now let's see what are the changes we need to make in the OpenSSL configuration file. Uh, in order to create SSL certificate for that, open Windows File Explorer, go to My PC section, go to C drive, then go to OpenSSL Win64 folder, then go to bin folder, there we can see our OpenSSL configuration named OpenSSL.cfg. Open that file using any text editor. In that I already made the changes so let's see what are the changes that I have done. So move down and the first changes we need to make is find the directory where we keep our SSL certificates or generated SSL certificate. So that directory is defined under default CA section and the variable name is DIR and here I have defined the location as C OpenSSL win64 bin demo CA. So this is the demo CA folder will have all the informations regarding SSL generation and also the generated SSL certificates. Here this index.txt file it's a database index file for OpenSSL which keeps the information about what are the SSL certificate we generated in this server. Here we can see another variable variable as serial with file name serial 
which contains the serial number of each ssl certificate generated in this server now let's move down uh, before that we already created this serial file and index.txt file in the demo ca folder also we have created the sets folder and new sets folder those are the two folders where the generated ssl certificate are kept now let's move down uh, and look at the required section here we can see that the variable named x509 extensions here we define what are the extensions and information that we need to be inserted in the creation of sss certificates so those informations we can define under v3 underscore ca section or at user underscore search section so uh, the variable name is x509 extension because x509 extensions are, are the version number now let's move down and look at the v3 ca section now the first section is use search section here we define values like subject key identifier authority key identifier basic cons constraints key usage and extended key usage so when we define these values under user sec section at the time of creating ssl certificate when we use the extension as user set then these values will take effect for that certificate creation so I move down let's look at the v3 ca section this is the section in which we define values for the root ca certificate so when we create root ca certificate we use this v3 ca extension so when we define any values under this section those values will be used for creation of ca certificate then the another section is v3 request section we can also use this section for the creation of server or client certificate generation all right those are the changes we need to be done in the openssl.cfg file and make sure to save this file from from the text editor options here i am using notepad so file save option is the changes to save all right that's completes the openssl config changes Okay, we have successfully completed the install and configuration of OpenSSL on Windows Server 2019. Now our Windows Server 2019 is ready for creating SSL TLS certificates using OpenSSL. I hope this video is informative. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts at the comment box. See you soon on next video.